So here we have an 8K 360 camera live streaming. Is that what That's it is? right. Hi, so who are you? My name is Jeffrey Martin uh, from Lab Pano. This is our second camera on the market. It's the smallest 8K 360 camera on the market. Uh, we have a cloud live streaming solution, so you stream directly from the camera to the cloud where all the stitching and distribution is done. There's um, four cameras around there? Yes, it's four cameras. And it streams to your cloud solution? That's right. It also has a uh, VSLAM algorithm for shooting virtual tours that can be automatically placed. Um, each image is placed correctly within each other image. Uh, and it's built on an uh, open Android system allowing developers to build their own applications. Open Android? You say Android? Yes. It's built on Android and it's an open SDK so people can build their own applications. So, what would be the application? That means it's running Android right now? Yes. So, you, what application you could put on there? Uh, you might want to have a certain way of shooting with certain settings and you might want to upload the photos or videos to your own um, service. Yeah. So, uh, so for example, uh, when you talk about VSLAM, uh, is that something to do with like creating a 3D world out of uh, a capture? Well, the camera knows uh, when you take one picture and then you walk a few meters, it knows how far you've gone. So then when you have the virtual tour, you've got like a link from one image to the other, and it knows exactly where to put the link from one image to the other so that they're, you know, spaced correctly. Like street view. Yes. Uh, but is it possible to create a 3D environment out of that? Uh, not in the camera, no. But no. on your cloud or something, a map or maybe? Not yet. Different? Something maybe else. later. How does a camera know exactly how much is moved? There's like uh, enough sensing going on there? So there's an onboard uh, IMU uh, accelerometer device and uh, using some sophisticated AI algorithms we can figure out how far the camera has moved. Like step counter? Sort of. That's it? That, that, is there any way to do it more precise? It would be nice to be exactly precise to know where, where you put the camera. I think it's uh, like a centimeter level positioning. Oh. Uh, so, uh, lab panel. Pano. Yes. Uh, it's got to do with panorama? Yes. But it does video. It does video as well. It does up to 8K resolution video. This little one right there? Yes. Is this a different one, the big one there? That's our first model. Uh, no puns. Well, I think they'll know how to get back to turning it off. So, uh, this is our first model. Yeah. That came out last year. So uh, that's just the small version you have right there of the same? It's uh, quite similar, but a lot smaller than this one. And there's a screen uh, just to uh, see one of the sides, right? Oh, you, you can turn the whole. So it's live stitching on the, ca on the camera right there. Yes. But uh, what is a different kind of stitching you can do in the cloud? Uh, in the cloud, it's uh, stitching 8K video, which is a pretty intensive task. Yeah, you can't do that on camera? No. But you, so that means when you record 8K, you can't see anything? When you're recording 8K video, you can have a live preview. But, but not 8K, so it's going to show a lower version? Well, this screen isn't 8K, so it doesn't really matter. It's showing you a live preview on the camera of what you're recording. Can, can you set it to 8K? Sure. Wow. So you do 8K, 7K, 6K, all the way down? Yep. 24 frames per second. That's right. Uh, that means you have a really uh, good, um, uh, what do you call those, uh, FPGA or something going on there. The secret, how, how do you make it work? Well, there's a, there's a sophisticated chip in here and uh, Lab Pano's been, for many years, been a leader in uh, building panoramic stitching algorithms on uh, low-level hardware, so this is their core competency. Uh, what I'd like to see is um, uh, 8K 360 video conferencing. That would be great. So you'd stream from one to the other, yeah. and you're both in the same room. You can wear a VR headset, yeah. and, and you are 
entered AK World right. live. Yeah. But uh, is there like lag and all this stuff happening when you want to stitch AK? How much lag do you get? Is uh, it's uh, less than one second. The whole way to the first to the less than one second. Yes. That's like really good. Yes. I thought it'd be like 15, 20 seconds. Or right. No, no, no. So you can pretty much do that, right? Yeah, it's possible. All right. Uh, is it for sale? We're announcing it today. It's shipping in February. Uh, is there any price yet? Uh, we're announcing the price at CES. And this is CES, no? This is CES unveiled. So we are before launch? Yes. Right. You gotta wait a couple days. But I'll link to right there. It'll be a good price so people can afford it. It'll be a good price. Right? Cool. And what, what other stuff are you showing here? Is it different accessories? Or? Yeah, yeah, so these are accessories. This is a GPS device. This is a uh, 5G device, so you can live stream 8K over 5G. Mm -hmm. um, this is a uh, waterproof case, goes inside. Cool. And this is a uh, protective case, if you're going to be uh, knocking it around. And, and uh, do you capture everything from the floor to the top? I mean, does it go all the yes. way up? Yeah, you can see on here goes straight down or uh, straight up yeah it's totally spherical and you say you've been doing this for a while yes so it's not a new company uh, no it's not a new company so how long have you been doing this stuff uh, for about eight years so uh, not just one but a bunch of previous uh, the company was originally uh, building uh, panoramic stitching algorithms for um, other companies who are making their own hardware. Is it also in Shenzhen? Yes. Uh, so that's uh, the place where everything is made, right? That's right. Shenzhen is pretty much... Everything's made in Shenzhen, yeah. yeah. The real Silicon Valley. Yep. All right, cool. And uh, there's a lot of competition happening in the 360 camera world, or how's, it, how's the market? Because uh, it's, it seems that there was maybe a little bit of a hype two, three, four years ago. Yep. And, uh, I, What's going to happen in 2020? What do you think? In 2020, uh, I think there might be a couple of surprises at CES, but I don't see any new companies entering the market in 2020. I think the market is sort of stabilizing, and we're seeing uh, some more mature cameras from existing companies.